Senior Night continues here on Sports Center. We begin with the story of St. Andrews of Delaware. As the second smallest state in the Union, Delaware holds a 24-team, one-division state basketball tournament. The Saints of St. Andrews are the only boarding school in the state. They've got 300 students. They were playing during spring break. They were staying in a hotel. It turned into a lengthy stay as they just kept winning and winning. Fueled by seven seniors, they reached the state final four for the first time in the 91-year history of the school. Knocked off the number two seed along the way, but the semis in Dover and the remainder of the tournament, sadly, were canceled. We've been remiss in acknowledging tennis, so let's fix that. Three seniors in Chapel Hill, Sarah Davatilla, Alexa Graham, and McKenna Jones, we salute you. Carolina was looking for their fifth straight ACC title. They were likely a one seed in the NCAA championships in May. The three seniors were a staggering 112 and 9, a 45 and 3 record in the ACC. Three ACC conference titles. They would have all finished in the top 10 in wins in Carolina history. It's the quote that got me about Ashley Zula, senior captain for Suffolk University in Boston. I think anybody that played sports can relate to this thought. It's a part of my life I am not ready to let go of. Obviously, as a senior on a softball team, that's the end of the line whenever it comes. Thinking of you, Ashley. Now, when you think of Duke, come on, Duke. You think titles, but the men's hoop team, they're not the reigning champs. The women's golf team, they were. They were the NCAA champs last year. It was the seventh title for them. They were ranked top five when the season came to an abrupt end. Their seniors were Miranda Wong and Anna Bellots. Bellots was a two-time All-American and had 13 top tens, nine top fives, and a couple of wins. We close tonight with a young man who said, Florida is what raised me, Iowa is what made me. Pat Lugo of the famed Iowa Hawkeye Wrestling Program. Lugo grew up in Homestead, Florida, where his dad started a youth club for Pat and his brother Ozzy to stay out of trouble. They wrestled outside at times and learned to end matches quickly to get off the mats because they got hot in the sun. At Iowa, he thrived, and so did Iowa. They were looking to win their 24th national championship. They had just rolled to the Big Ten title. They were ranked number one, which was what Lugo's seed was at 149 pounds. An All-American last year, he finished his senior season in Iowa City 21-1, and was a Midlands champion, and a Big Ten champion along the way. Iowa wrestling has a legendary past. Pat Lugo deserves to be counted among them. Florida raised, Iowa made. It's your senior night. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.